All right. It's game plan time, Al. You've watched every TCU game. You've picked out, you've picked out plays that have worked against them that are on Michigan's menu of plays. And you've you've done a million game plans. I'm I'm not even exaggerating. So some good ones, some bad ones, Sam. Game plan this one for me, Michigan TCU. Build it. Well, from a run game perspective is where everything has to start with Michigan. I mean, you're there. That's the kind of team they are. You don't see a ton of duo plays on video. That doesn't matter. Okay. Colorado, Oklahoma State, and Kansas all show that play. But for us at Michigan, if I'm the coach, we are running that play. And my goal is to get anywhere from 13 to 15 run by the end of the game. Variations, duos from double wings, shift to double wings, bunch, short motion the Z, shift over the wing, shift them back again, put a guy in the backfield, run a duo kick, put a guy in the edge, run a duo kick, but somehow, some way, get to that play a lot of ways and make them prove they can stop it because that is our bread and butter. And I don't much give a rip if anybody in that conference ever ran the play. We're running that play, okay? Number two is I'd run, have a power play. Now, how much we ran the power play, I don't know, but it may get two or three shots, maybe four in a game if they're struggling with it. It's a play they run. It's a hardball play that he's kind of ha- hung his hat on over the years. But I would say that has to be in there somewhere, okay? When they have run it, the play's been good. Counter. The counter, and then again, in this game, Sam, the OT counter to me is the play. Now, Michigan has run variations of counters. We've seen it, right, with the center pulling, the guard pulling, the backside tackle pulling, the H pulling, the fullback pulling. But the play that shows up best in a play that Michigan has run is the OT play. That's, I think, you're going to get that. And not just handing the ball to Donovan Edwards, but also giving J.J. McCarthy a chance to go run it himself, either with reading action like you've seen in the past or just a pure plus one counter OT play where he can take the ball horns horns pin and pulls okay uh right in the wheelhouse works works good it shows up on the videos like I said uh Baylor ran the pin and pull West Virginia ran the pin and pull it shows up I think you're going to see some of that I think you're going to see one with added gaps where they've got wings running in behind those guys pulling people and again the same deal you, you may want to run that and then have your quarterback fake a little fly action, and he run a a pin and pull. But it shows up on their videos, and I think it's got to be what I would say anywhere from a five to seven times a game. Again, if the game's in in line, it's not out of whack. Uh, I'd like to say think you're going to run between five and seven horn plays before it's over. Another play we didn't mention, but it shows up, is the open side zone. The open side zone, the play you saw Donovan Edwards hit against Ohio State for two long runs. OK, but the way it works against these guys, a little different. The way it works against these guys is because of their three, four defense. And they usually have a player outside your tackle. The most team are lining up with a tight end on the backside, running the open side zone and then winding the ball back in behind the tight end. That showed up against SMU. That showed up against Baylor. That showed up against Texas. It was one of the few run, runs Texas actually ran pretty good. So I think open zone right in their wheelhouse, something they do well. I think but that's okay. back inside the tight end, you said. Yeah. Usually what happened, he would push it to, to the open side, move the defense. They would cave down the backside because usually there was a five over there where the, the tight end and the tackle could double to the inside linebacker. The ha- overhang was free. He was unblocked. It didn't matter. The back would cut inside him, and he'd either miss him or he'd have, you know, seven to ten yards before the guy could get him down. So that, that, play, that play showed up. There's no question about it. Now, the other thing, do you want to, and again, this is, you know, this is a coordinator call. Do you want to test the stretch play? I think I'd have it. I think I'd have it. I'd maybe get into pistol, get into under center stretch plays, run it in behind the tight end, expecting it to probably come back because that's what it's done. But it has been a play that people have shown some vulnerability, that they have shown a vulnerability to. And it is a play Michigan has, although they don't necessarily major in that play. So, I think that, too, would be a a good approach in this game. Now, 
after you got that, you got your five or six you're running, right? We talked about them. You got your five or six you're running. Now you got, as a coordinator, you got to decide, all right, man, they show some vulnerability to some other stuff. How or do we want to exploit? How will we or do we even want to exploit the vulnerability they showed against other teams? Other plays that you can run is you can run the open side pin and pull. That shows up against several opponents where they can pin that four pull those guards, whether do it in a U-turn fashion or just pull them around the edge, you know that's a soft edge. Uh, Vance is right. He hit, he hit the nail on the head on that one. There's a soft edge on the open side of the formation, and I think that that's got a real chance. They ran an interesting play. Baylor run was a dual play to a wing and pulled the tackle around. He used counteraction, and I thought that was a – had a big run on that. I mean, uh, everything was blocked dual, and the tackle pulled – actually ending up being kind of a dual kick, if you will, with the tackle doing the kick. And I thought that was a nice variation. Um, Baylor also ran what we call a wham play. Now, I don't know if you know what a wham play is, but Michigan, well, Harbaugh has run this play in the past. I'd be a little surprised if they ran it, but you never know. Where you can take your your split zone guy, the guy that usually does a split zone, mm -hmm. and knock out the nose guard. He will come inside the center, who will block back, and you load that nose guard and everybody else just zone block and Baylor ran that a couple times and it worked both times they ran it. So these are all things you just got to decide. Do you have time and do you want to sacrifice a couple more duo plays to run these plays? Because that's really what could happen. Right. Mm -hmm. And the last one, uh, again, this is not one they run much, but and it's, it's in the pin and pull family. Okay. And that's the crack pitch where you can, Offset and shotgun, if you want, and pitch the ball to the guy, pin the front side, pull your guard and tackle or whoever you want, and just run the ball around the edge because that play also showed up from several opponents. So you got all the ones you do and you're going to do, and they know you're going to do. They're not sure exactly how you're going to do them, but they know you're going to do them, and that is not going to dissuade anybody from doing them because they're going to do them. And it, I think it just be, becomes a matter of – of, uh, of seeing what else you want to toss in there to, to test the water on a little bit, or maybe you saw something on the tape that you want to be creative. That, that might even be that they didn't see. 